thank you for tuning in today. What we are going to be doing is kind of a little unboxing. I've got this new uh, Cardo Skella uh, Freecom 4 Plus headset. Just picked this guy up. Uh, I used to run the, uh, the Q3 um, on my other helmets. Uh, since then, they've obviously come out with a lot of the other models. Uh, what's nice about this guy here is it is a nice upgrade to my current one, just the speakers alone. But the other unit I was using, it was absolutely great at the time for what I needed. Um, this one here, uh, what's nice is they decided to upgrade the speakers, so they're now actually using a JBL uh, speakers, which is going to be nice, especially when you're cruising down the speeds, especially on the highways. Uh, maybe when the wind's a little bit louder or whatnot, you're going to get that nice crisp sound with the JBLs. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to open this guy up. <clears throat> See what we got in the package. It's a little packaging. Got the headset here itself. Oh, that's nice, nice and sleek. So once I've opened everything out of the box, what I'll do is I'll give you kind of a close up of everything from there. So I'll just kind of put everything here for now. Nice little manual here, I believe. Kind of shows you, yeah, it just shows you how to install it in the helmet and everything. Some nice warranty paperwork. Nice little cargo decal. Nice manual showing you how to use everything. It comes in multiple languages. Along with that. And another guide. Exact same thing, again, just different languages. Eight. Right there. So that's pretty much it for the box. All right, so in here, so you got this guy here, which is your, I guess it's more of a stiff line. What you're gonna use this for, um, it's more for, I guess, if you're on cruisers or if you're using a skull cap type of helmet or a helmet that's not a full face. Um, this one here, you're gonna be able to mount it right on the inside and you can kind of adjust the mic in any way you want. Not exactly something you're gonna be using inside your regular full face helmet. What is nice is that it comes with this guy. This little mic here, with the line, this is what you're gonna be able to mount just inside um, your mouthpiece uh, inside your helmet, which is how I have mine mounted right now. And it works absolutely fantastic. It doesn't get in your way, it doesn't hit your mouth or anything like that. And everything's being, uh, everything comes out nice and uh, clear. So right here are the JBL speakers. really too much to them. Anyone that's ever seen these kind of uh, intercom systems before, they're gonna, they're pretty much generic, but what is nice is that they are made by JBL. Anyone that knows the company knows they're a very reputable brand and they make very top end speakers, whether it's for your vehicles or for these head units. And just a little charging unit that you're gonna be able to use, which is your micro HDMI. And you've got this guy here, which is the part that's actually gonna mount into your helmet. So I guess they actually went to a different kind of setup, which I'm gonna be honest, I kind of like the old setup because what they did is they gave you two separate pieces. So one piece would actually mount on the inside and then you'd screw in this other piece. This, the way they decided to do it is they went with just a straight plastic kind of mount. It's definitely a bit cheaper. I don't know how I feel about that. We're gonna, I'm gonna find out once I install it into the helmet about how that kind of works out. But I do kind of like the old system better, but hopefully this is gonna work just fine. I don't see why not. And we'll go from there. All right, so you have these pads here. On the back of these, they are Velcro. So same thing here, you can just stick these on the inside of your helmet and then use your Velcros to stick these on as well if there is room. You got a couple extra pads here for Velcro as well for the mouthpiece. <clears throat> okay, so here's something that's pretty interesting. Now I'm understanding why they did this. Okay, so the piece that's in the back here, you can actually remove it. This is the part that you're gonna be clipping onto your helmet. What you can do is if you don't have a place to clip it, which I actually kind of like that they did this, what you can do is you can actually mount this guy. 
can actually mount this guy. So this one you're actually going to be able to stick anywhere on the side of your helmet instead of actually having to use this. Which is actually a pretty neat feature. So just to give you guys an idea, this is essentially what you're going to be getting inside the box. So you're going to get your unit here that's going to be attached to your helmet. You've got this part which is the actual intercom system itself. A couple Velcro strips, low mic, you've got your uh, headphones, you also have your other mic here, like I said, for that uh, other type of uh, non-full face helmet. You've got your charging cable, which is micro USB. You've got these attachments here in case you need to either use this type of clip, in case you need to use this type of clip, or you want to mount it directly to the side of your helmet using the uh, 3M tape that's there. Okay, so some of the options that you're getting with this um, intercom system that's nice compared to some of the older models is on this one you're gonna get your four-way intercom. So you're actually able to hook up to four different intercom systems. So if you're riding um, with other people, if you've got a passenger on the back, this one will hook up to um, whether it's the Cena's or other Cardo's or any other brand, these will hook up to those and connect so that way you're able to talk. That was one of the drawbacks um, of my older unit. I could actually only connect to other Cardo headsets, um, which kind of made it annoying in a sense because I have a lot of friends that are riding. They're going to be using the Cena, some of them use the Cardo, some of them use a different brand. And when we get together, I'm not able to connect with them. So this way, I can still connect to my old one. My old one can connect to this one because they're the same brand, but it's just gonna allow me a little more versatility when it comes to riding with some of my other friends, which is definitely nice to have, especially for the longer trips. Um, you're also, you've got the uh, voice operation, which is just like the older one. Very easy to use within the instructions, even the online app that you can use, um, or for your phone, it's going to give you all the voice commands that you're gonna need. Um, waterproof, it's good for 1.2 kilometer range. I mean, that's a substantial range. I mean, when you're riding with people anyway, you're all within um, 10, 20 meters of each other anyway, if not closer um, when you're riding in the groups, even when someone pulls away and stuff. You got 1.2 kilometers of the range. That's absolutely fantastic. Um, universal connectivity, that's what I was mentioning before. Uh, it, they're calling it a slim design. To be honest, it's not a whole lot different uh, as far as size goes compared to my older unit. And like I also mentioned, I kind of like the mounting system better on the older system opposed to what this is. But I'll give it a shot. I don't see it being a whole lot different uh, in terms of it not working. I think it's going to work just fine. But I, I actually I did prefer the other uh, mounting system. And it was actually all uh, metal opposed to plastic. Um, What's also nice about this guy here is 13 hours uh, talk time. That's pretty substantial. I mean, if you are going to be doing any long-term riding um, or whatnot, you're taking trips with your friends, I mean, 13 hours, that's, that's a long time. I don't know anyone that really rides more than 13 hours on a bike in one go that they wouldn't be able to try, um, that they wouldn't be able to charge this in between. I mean, the longest I usually go is three, four hours and um, I've got no issue being able to plug this thing in. Very simple just to bring this little USB charger and plug it into the wall somewhere. Um, so as far as this unit, I mean, it seems great. I'm going to hook it up to my helmet, give it a shot, see what we're dealing with in terms of the sound. Hopefully the JBL are going to be good. I don't see it being a problem. Um, but yeah, we're just going to uh, set up in the helmet and I'll be able to come back with a different kind of review once I give it a shot. I just kind of want to do that little bit of an unboxing for you guys, let you see what's all inside the kit. And let's go from there. All right guys, safe riding. Thank you for tuning in. Feel free to hit that like and subscribe button. Leave a comment, like or hate. Doesn't matter to me, all comments are great. Let's uh, try to get that uh, 100 subscribers. Still trying to reach that mark. All right guys, take care.